Greetings, Earthling. My name is Cubulus, and I look nothing like this man in real life. <laughs> but I am a nerd. I am a super nerd. I am a nerd for a game called Star Citizen. I'll tell you how much of a nerd I am. This game is in pre, pre, pre alpha. And there's really no game at all to speak of. And yet, I paid $80 to get a module. <laughs> the module that I have, it's called, it's called the hangar module. And basically all you can do is change your skin between two different avatars. Um, you get a spaceship that you can open up and go inside. You can't take off, you can't open the hangar, you can't fly away. So you may be asking yourself, why would I do this? Why would I pay $80 just to walk around a ship hangar and get inside a spaceship that you can't take off in? Well, I'll tell you why. This is going to be a PC-only game, and I'll put the the uh, I'll put the link in the description to the website where you can go and decide if you want to give money to a man named Chris Roberts. That's right. The man in charge of designing this game. Basically what it's going to be like is if you've ever played EVE Online, um, which I have, but I don't anymore, then you know that in EVE you could, basically you own a spaceship, you could buy, you could earn money, and basically fly around the universe, be part of a consortium if you'd like, or be a, you know, a loner, a rebel, be part of different academies, I don't know. Anyway. Basically, it's a pretty complicated space simulation game. It has a really high learning curve, but I think Star Citizen is going to be like that, but better. Well, better for me. Not better for everyone. Anyway, um, let's see. Let's have a, let's go have a look around my hangar, and we'll talk a little bit about Star Citizen. Um, here's my hangar. Uh, I paid eighty dollars for this, and like I said, and. I got a spaceship, which is at the other end of this hangar, which we're going to go open up and look inside of. Um, but for some reason, I have, you know, shooting... I have targets here that I can... You know, if I had a gun, I could do target practice. But I do not have a gun. Um, let's, first of all, let's go ahead and look at myself running around in third person. I don't know if you ever played Jedi Academy or Jedi Knight... Jedi Outcast, but this is just what Kyle Katarn looked like when he ran around. <laughs> That was back in 2002 or something, I can't remember. Might have been 1999. I forget. But uh, hopefully, I mean, I'm sure they will. Like I said, this is really early on in the development process of the game. So hopefully they'll, uh, I'm sure they will. They'll make it so you don't look so silly while you're running around. And I'm sure you'll have personal inventory and you'll be able to take out your guns and fight other people and change your gender and your race. Hopefully be able to play as other aliens, which would be awesome. Anyway, but right now this is what we got. So let's go into first person and go check out my spaceship. Now, um, basically, from what I understand... There she is. Before we go in, let's talk. <clears throat> from what I understand, in this game, um, you'll be able to... I mean, there'll be all kinds of options for you. If you want to be a pirate, you can be a space pirate. If you want to be a smuggler... If you want to be a legitimate businessman, if you want to be a fighter pilot, if you want to be an explorer, if you just want to go out and explore space, you can do it. And that's what I'm interested in. I am interested not in fighting, because I'm a lover, not a fighter. I'm interested in having a very fast spaceship, maybe doing some jobs on the side for, you know, delivering cargo. But mainly I want to go and I want to explore space. Because Here's why I'm a nerd. To be honest, in real life, that's what I would do, if possible. I would buy a spaceship. I would leave Earth. I would never come back. I would die out among the stars. <laughs> but in 2013... Oh, wait. Sorry. 2014. It's not possible. So I'll have to make do with a computer game. Okay, first of all, here is the gun that doesn't work. We'll end the episode in the gun. Um, let's look at my spaceship. This is the... Origin Space Indust Industries 325A. So, um, the th the, I think it's called I-300 series? I can't remember. Anyway, the 300 series of their spaceships, they're pretty, pretty nice. They're like the BMWs of the spaceship world so far in Star Citizen. And I think they look pretty cool. I know it's really dark. It's kind of hard to see what this looks like. Maybe if I back up here a little bit. So, it's a pretty nice spaceship. I'll also leave a link in the description so you can see this thing, what it looks like when it flies around. Let me 
if you haven't watched that, you need to go check it out. Um, anyway, but this is the racer version of this of this spaceship. There's two other versions. There's also kind of the economy class starships you can get, which are you know you can pay thirty or forty dollars to get those, or you can go all the way up to. Uh, I think the most expensive spaceship right now is called the Constellation class, and it's it's a lot like the Millennium Falcon. I mean, it doesn't look like it in any way, but it's a big freighter and it has capacity for several several crew members to fly in it. It has, you know, their gunner, uh, what's the word? I don't know, I'm not very good at this sort of thing. You can be a gunner, you can be a pilot, um, anyway. So let's have a look inside my spaceship. I decided to go small. To be honest, I almost paid the $275 <laughs> to get the Millennium Falcon because I'm such a huge Han Solo nerd, but I decided to go with this spaceship. I decided to go with the, uh, the $80 version. Because I want to earn my way among the stars, I want to work up towards a freighter-like spaceship that I can fly around and have it be kind of my own. I mean, I don't know if you've ever seen this show, Firefly, best TV series ever. That's my dream. I want to be like uh, Mal Malcolm Reynolds on that show. Maybe get a crew and just fly around the stars. Anyhow, uh, let's go ahead and check out the spaceship. Enough talk. Well, before we check out the spaceship, let me just show you a few things really quick. This right here is an interface where you can go and you can customize your spaceship. So you just basically you drag your spaceship into the middle of this thing. Um, let's see, actually, let's try that again. Let's drag it over one more time. Let's see. Let's wait till it, it's facing. There we go. You know, it's still, I mean, you know, like, like I said, this is a game. It's not even a game yet, so it definitely is a little buggy. But here you can go and imagine this is where you'll be able to swap out weapons by just, or, you know, or different parts of your spaceship by dragging and then, you know, dragging to and from the spaceship and installing them. You have an ammo console or ammo option, power, thruster, cargo. I have no cargo capacity. So let's go ahead and shut that down. Okay, this here is a storage. Um, storage crate, I'm assuming. Let's see, can we turn this off? I guess it just stays on. Okay, and then here, this is where you can change the way you look. You have the Han Solo version, or you can look like nerdy pilot Luke Skywalker. Um, let's see what that guy looks like, shall we? Kind of looks like that. So if that's your cup of tea, if you want to look like a cross between Captain Picard and Luke Skywalker, then more power to you. But I am more interested in looking like Han Solo slash Malcolm Reynolds, baby. Oh yeah. Like I said, I hope you can change your gender and your hairstyles and different things and your race in the game. Okay, so... Alright, let's get down to it. Let's go ahead and go inside the spaceship. Now, let's enter in. You can enter in on either side. And this spaceship has gull wing doors, so if I hit the F button, it open up the side, and the ladder comes down. And the ship opens up. Walk up to it. F to use. I'll hit F, and I will climb inside the spaceship. The starship. Oh, I hope you can name your spaceship in this game. Apparently the customizable... I mean, you'll be able to customize your spaceship in depth, so... Right now, there's nothing you can do really in here at all in this little section. I'm hoping, really hoping, that these will be beds you can pull out and sleep in. Um, I'm sure that these consoles will be, you'll be able to interact with them eventually. Got a nice little bit of a plush lining here on the side. Here's the cockpit. I'm going to go ahead and sit down in the chair by pushing F. F is in Frank. Now once you're in the chair, I am going to nerd out when this game comes out. I'm going to upgrade my computer and I am definitely going to get a flight stick and a thruster. <laughs> I'm going to look like a total dork. Okay, so now, right now though, I'm using a Razer Xbox 360. It's called the... Uh, it's an Xbox 360 controller, but this is called the Razer Sabertooth. I love, love my Razer Sabertooth. And I'm able to use the right stick to look around the cockpit. The mouse, all the mouse does as far as I can tell at the moment, I can't get it to look down, no matter what I do. But if I have a 360 controller, then I can 
look around the cockpit like so. And then, um, my, the, so the right stick looks around. The left stick controls the steering of the spaceship. And then I'm guessing the triggers will control the guns, and the Y button causes me to stand up. Let's see, does X do anything? Nope, X, B, Y, A. They do nothing. I'm not able to press any of these buttons. But I'm sure that when the game comes out, the keyboard and mouse will control most of these controls here. And then my controller and, or flight stick and... Um, or whatever I decide to use, that'll control the steering. Okay, let's go ahead and hit Y. Shut down the spaceship. We're going to end the video here pretty soon. And yeah, I think I'm going to name the ship. If I can, I'm going to name it the, the Ayla. i name her Ayla. <laughs> That's right, I'm obsessed with Ayla. Okay, let's go ahead and open the door here. You can open up either side. Now, this game is so, f so much in alpha, or pre-alpha, that I can't even close these doors. Like, the only way to close these doors is to restart the game. <laughs> that's okay. I'm sure eventually you'll be able to close them. So let's go ahead and climb out of the spaceship. Love the first person view. Reminds me of Battlefield. Just gives you that feel of really being there. The physics are great. So yeah, if I hit use anywhere here, I'm just going to crawl back in the spaceship. So, Oops, I'm crouching for some reason. How'd that happen? Let's see if I can... Oh, there we go. Okay. Alright. So... Let's go ahead and end the episode. I'm going to do that by crawling into this weird gunner's chair. Watch this. This is hilarious. Look how uncomfortable this looks. <laughs> I look really uptight. Oh. I look like I'm in a straight jacket. Yeah. Anyway, let's get out of this. This is just Okay. So, thank you for uh, watching my video. Um. This is definitely the first episode of my Let's Play series of Star Citizen. That's right, baby. Episode number one. Episode number two, coming your way when the next module comes out, which will be a dogfighting module. And then I imagine after that, it'll be several months before the game releases, and then episode three will be... Well, I'll put it out at that point, so... Starting a little bit early, but that's okay. I had to, because I'm really excited for this game. There's my spaceship. In fact, let's end the episode over by my, my beauty. Let's see. How about right here? Yeah, that works. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a marvelous day wherever you are in the world. Bye-bye.